Hey guys, so you just completed a bridge transaction using SparkSwap. I'm about to show you how to check your bridge transaction to make sure it went smoothly and you received your funds. We're going to be doing that using dbank.com. So you'll see up here we are on dbank.com. And what you're going to do first is you're going to open up your wallet and copy your wallet address. And then you're going to paste it right here into the search bar. That's going to pull up your portfolio and you're going to see here a portfolio with all of your different coins and tokens that you have in your portfolio tab. Now, I do want to just note something very important here that the chains and coins will only pop up once you have added the contract addresses into your wallet. So that is an important note. I want you to take note of when we're doing this. But I just completed a transaction in this test wallet and I bridged uh, 11 DAI from BSC chain to S DAI on Pulse chain. So you can see I did that about 40 minutes ago. It literally was rocket fast. You can see it took less than one minute to, to go over. It took about 20 seconds, which is insane to bridge from BSC to Pulse Chain. Um, find a faster bridge and uh, name it to me and I'll just be blown away because what other bridge is going from BNB Chain to Pulse Chain in 20 seconds? That's insane. Um, but you'll see here, when you initiate the bridge, it's going to say create on DBank under your transactions. And when the bridge completes, it's going to say complete order. Now you can see right here, the die and the S die listed very clearly. Now our bridge has a built-in mechanism where if it has taken one hour and your funds have not been received, you will automatically receive a refund. And so in that case, what will happen as opposed to it saying your origin chain and your destination chain here, it will have a symbol of your origin chain in both spots. And instead of saying complete order, it will show close order and you will receive a refund in this position for the funds that you've bridged. And you can go ahead and um, click here to see that transaction as well. Now, I do want to point out that because this is a test wallet that I'm using and I had never bridged SDI before, what happened was very interesting. I hadn't yet added SDI to my wallet. And so when I toggled over to portfolio, it didn't show Pulse Chain at all or SDI in this section of my portfolio because I didn't have any Pulse in my wallet and I didn't have the SDI contract address added to my wallet yet. And so it didn't pop up here and so if you were brand new to bridging and you were brand new to using SparkSwap, you may say to yourself at this point, well, my transactions say that the bridge went through, but my portfolio is not showing any SDI and my wallet's not showing any SDI. So what do we need to do next? We need to add the SDI contract address to your wallet. So the next question is, where do we find that contract address? There's two great places to find that contract address. And you always wanna be very careful to make sure you are getting them from reliable places. And there are two places to find those. The first place is right on our website, sparkswap.xyz. So on our website, you're gonna to go to info and then click on docs. On our docs, you're gonna click on token address contracts. And you will find right here, the contract address for SDI. You can click on it and then copy it and paste it to import that contract address. And as soon as I did that, then Pulse Chain came up on this all chains. It was added to this section and SDI popped up here. Now, the second place where you can find it is if we go back to the SparkSwap website you can find it by clicking here for the telegram symbol, clicking spark swap and joining our telegram group. Within our telegram group 
if you hit the prompt CA, you will find a list of all of our contract addresses pop up for you in our Telegram group, and you will be able to copy and paste any of the contract addresses you need for our protocol right into your wallet to import those tokens as well. And so what we find often happens when newer users to our protocol are using our bridge for the first time and they believe their funds haven't arrived, they haven't yet used DBank as an amazing tool to check their transactions. And so I really hope that this video helps you because you will be able to just directly see the transaction in real time, completing the order, and then immediately go see your portfolio and see that the funds are there. Because a number of things could have happened. Maybe you thought you bridged DAI, but you accidentally clicked SDI. Um, maybe you hadn't added the contract address yet and you just needed to go ahead and take that extra step. There's a lot of things that may have happened. Maybe you just didn't know how to check it yet and now you do. So I hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any other questions, please reach out to one of our admins in our Telegram group. All of the admins in our Telegram group have our chat bubbles marked admin or team member in gray so that you know exactly who you're speaking to is a legitimate admin and uh, you are getting help from the right people. We will never randomly DM you. You can reach out to us for help directly in the group and we are always there to answer your questions. Have a great day, guys.